Okay, I'm going to make a video on key impressioning. I have two Yale locks. This one has a key, a working key. And usually what I do on these locks before I start the impressioning is I do cut a uh, small cut on my key with a uh, key duplicating machine. So I take a key like this quick set and I check the bidding on the key and see how close they line up and if they line up uh, real close I'll go ahead and make a cut on the key just like the cut on this quick set so I'm going to cut this uh, key in the key machine I do not have a working key for, for it um, with a quick set key just to get it started and then we'll start impressioning it so I'm gonna put the camera on pause till we go to the key cutting machine and then we'll run this through the key cutting machine and make a cut on this key okay I have the keys set up in the uh, key duplicating machine I uh, put them in place and let it make it light cut if it doesn't make a cut which I know that one wasn't going to make a cut then I'll go to the next key Okay, so here we have a um, start on the uh, Yale key. Even though I used a quick set key, sometimes it works out perfect and other times it doesn't, but I still make a uh, change in my uh, impressioning when I start. So we'll put on pause again. Okay, you notice I have uh, some items set up here on my little table, work table. I have a uh, magnifying glass over here. This one is a 20 power in case I need it. This is a 10 power. I use a 10 power most of the time. I hardly ever need 20 power, but I do have it if I need it. And a, I have a lamp that gives me a real bright light on the key. And uh, I use a, a little paint brush and a little fiberglass brush, I mean a fiber brush, to brush the key off with. I also use uh, about three different files and I do have a handheld uh, magnifying glass and I can uh, go from 5 power to 45 power if I really need to look at something that close and I do have a little jar of uh, cleaning solution here that I usually dip my key in occasionally to clean it off and all it is just plain alcohol But uh, we have this key that's ready to impression. So I'll get everything set up and uh, be right back with you. I'm going to pause the camera again. Okay, I have a small vise uh, on the table here that I put my locks in. I have the yell lock that I do not have a key for sitting here. And when I impression this key, I don't just grab it like this and start turning it. I'll just lightly hold it. And I'll do this a few times. Okay. Now we'll look at it uh, under the glass and see uh, what it looks like. I don't know whether you can see this, uh, in, this uh, in the camera or not. Probably can't. Anyway, there's marks on um, two, three, four, and five at this time. So,
I'll use I use this little fine round file to start with. I put a uh, little light cut on each pin, I mean each uh, spot on the key. Now when I get to the point where I think I need to uh, clean my key off a little bit, I'll just uh, put it in this alcohol and then dry it off with a rag to where I've got all the um, dust off of the key. Then we go back into the lock. And we jiggle it a few more times. magnifying glass and see which ones need to be uh, filed this time. Okay, we got two, three, and four. So we'll do two, three, and four just lightly. You have to get used to how much to take off. We can still clean it in the uh, alcohol solution to get all the dust off of it, or I can also use this uh, brush to brush the alcohol, I mean the uh, dust off the key. So we'll put it back in the uh, lock. Okay, I'm going to pause the camera until I uh, file three or four more uh, times on the key, then I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, we have uh, made three or four more cuts on the key. Okay, it's uh, starting to look similar to a key now. Also, we want to knock the uh, sharp cuts off the top of the key just a little bit. Get those points off so they don't hang up in the lock. Okay, I'm going to Pause the camera for a minute. 